First of all, thanks for being here today. This is a day that uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to really thank everybody. Thank Eagle Nation, uh, thank the university, uh, Brooks Keel for hiring me, all the presidents that I've worked for, uh, five of them in the, in the past seven and a half years. Um, most of all, thank our student athletes for the contributions that they made during this time and uh, thank our staff. Uh, it's been outstanding. It's been a wonderful, wonderful place to work. It's been a great place to enjoy a, a career in college athletics. Um, I thank our fans for everything they did and, and making this a special place and welcoming my fa uh, family. And uh, last but not least, I want to thank my family, my family who has uh, who's given up a lot for me to come in here and, and, and work every day to try to make this the best uh, program we can make it in the Sun Belt. Uh, a lot, a lot of good things happened at Georgia Southern, and I'm excited about uh, the platform and, and where Georgia Southern's at right now and, and look forward to our, to our next venture. So really just wanted to take this opportunity to thank everybody and, and, and appreciate everything everybody did for my family and for Georgia Southern during this time. Thanks. What went into your decision? Just um, a, lot, a lot of different uh, thought processes and conversations, um, you know, Business is a funny thing. Sometimes you get to places and, 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 and change, is, change is needed. And so for, for me, this was an opportunity I was very thankful to have at a time where we were in discussions about my future here. And um, for me, uh, I just felt like we were positioned, Georgia Southern's positioned for success. Uh, the president is, president is here to, to, to build on that success and excited about building on that success. And so Ole Miss is an opportunity for me to go to work at an SEC school and, and be at a place that has a, a very, very clear vision of where they want to go and how quickly they want to get there. The uh, press release said um, external operations and some day-to-day -day football stuff. Can you talk us through what, what, what exactly you'll be doing there? Yeah, overseeing the football program on every aspect of the football program and then overseeing all the uh, revenue side of things, the foundation, external relations, uh, sports marketing. Uh, we have a TV show that's uh, highly successful on ESPN. That'll be part of kind of what we do, uh, communication, sports information. As much of the stuff that controls the brand of, uh, of Ole Miss Athletics as, as possible and, and really just digging into football and making sure uh, Coach Kiffin and everybody on that staff has the things that they need to be successful so that we can get back to being uh, where we need to be in the SEC. Tom, what are you most proud of that you've accomplished here at Georgia Southern? And what do you think that if you had a do-over or what do you wish you would have been able to do? Well, I think when you look at successes, you look at when we came in here, we, our goal was to uh, move the athletic program up to FBS football and, and create a comprehensively competitive athletic department where we were, we were good in as many things as we could be. And doing that in a way where we were always focused on student athletes. Uh, the important part to me of what we do every single day is, you know, the impact that we have on these student athletes' lives. So when you look at the things like the improvement in the academics, the improvement in the, in the, in the departmental GPA, uh, the things we've done with APR and the fact that we've got teams now with 1,000 APR and, and, and things are going really well there. And at the same time, we've been able to grow the revenues, both in fundraising and, and, and the budget, so that we can do those things for student athletes. Uh, the challenge in today's AD's world is coming here and, and being able to drive the revenue to meet the demands of what you need to make student athletes and coaches successful. And that's the key. And I think we, we worked really hard at it. None of what we accomplished would have been accomplished without our staff. Our staff has done a tremendous job in the time we've been here, and I'm very thankful for them. But I'm proud that we, we set out with a goal, and we did that goal, and we were pretty successful at it. Is there anything that you wish you could have accomplished before you left or something you look back and say, which I had to do over there. I, you know, I think you can always look back at things and think you would have done things differently. Obviously, uh, a couple innings away from a baseball championship, one shot away from going into NCAA's in basketball were, were moments that I wish we could have had, but I don't regret those moments. I think those, those were times where it just worked out the way it worked out. Um, I think, you know, we've got to, the next person that takes this job has got to figure out how to grow in the Savannah and, 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 and do those things. That would, that would have been one thing that would have been really my main focus the next couple of years with the, with the movement to our, with our institution in Savannah was to try to grow that market. 
You just mentioned what a challenge for the next AD is going to be in your final days. Are you going to have any suggestions or recommendations or any other sort of insight into uh, where the university should look next? Well, that, that stuff's all in the hands of the president and the search committee. I'm, I'm here till the 21st and I serve at the pleasure of him. So, I mean, if they want to call and ask, I'll be glad to give my input, but at this point, you know, he's, he's kind of guiding that process and he'll get us, get us, get this institution to a good place and um, they'll do a good job with, with whoever they pick. You brought up the, the baseball team falling short of the championship, but a lot of championships won, including full titles. Looking back on your time, any of those stand out to you that you're going to remember always? You know, uh, walking in the first year when we didn't know if we were ready to compete at FBS and winning the conference was a pretty special time. Uh, watching our team compete in the NCAA golf tournament last year was really exciting to watch that when you consider the fact that Georgia Southern produced in the in theoretically number two golfer in the country. That's a pretty impressive feat. Uh, the growth of what we've done in, in women's sports, I think um, it's kind of flown under the radar a little bit, but the fact that we have a young lady that's coming out of our rifle program that's getting ready to hopefully be an Olympian here pretty soon is a pretty special thing. So a lot, a lot of good things and a lot, a lot of good memories. Tom, you took over and, and made a successful jump to FBS, but with that came a lot of financial, I don't want to say burden, but responsibilities. Is, was that a little more daunting task than maybe a lot of people had thought? And where is the university right now as far as the athletics goes financially? Yeah, I, you know, today's world, that, that's the challenge, right? The challenge is that there's always, you're always going to have a coach that needs more to be successful. You're always going to want to do more for your student athletes. And then you've got to go out and figure those ways to drive those revenues. And I think college athletics right now is about being creative and figuring creative ways to drive revenues. And so one of the, one of the challenges here is going to be how do, you, how do you drive those revenues? How do you continue to produce the, the things that you need to make student athletes successful and coaches successful within the constraints and within the, the world of the Board of Regents? And, and that's, that's a reality. That's a reality that everybody has to live with. That's an AD in the state. And so, you know, that's, that's a challenge. I don't know that it's any more challenging here than it is anywhere else. It's just the reality of, of the job today.